last time around I showed you how to create this simple component here which has a combo box and a text field and a button and then I showed you how to add two instances to the flex application of that component now this time around what we're going to do is start with some simple passing of data and setting of properties for these components within the application on these instances now you know I'm hoping that you're familiar somewhat with object oriented programming because you know understanding the difference between an instance and a component is important I'm not going to cover it in this video since it's beyond the scope but essentially what we want to do is set a different label for each of these buttons now if we went go in here and we change it on the component you know let's say that I, I click on this button here with inside the component file and I change the label to my label if I just save that and go back to the application you can see that naturally you know it does what we would think it would do which is to change the label in both of these instances that's not what we want to do so what we're going to do is use a simple binding technique and a simple setting of some properties I'm not going to cover binding in this video since it's beyond the scope of these tips and that in itself is worthy of some videos so I'm just going to assume that you understand the basics of binding within flex it's very straightforward um, go to the Adobe site if you don't and you'll be surprised how easy it is it sounds like a complex subject but it's pretty straightforward so what I'm going to do inside the simple component file here I'm actually going to go in and I'm actually going to go and create a script there we go and so now we're going to create some action script what we're going to do is we need these to be bindable accessible and changeable from outside the component so we're going to use the bindable tag and what I'm going to do is create a public variable and I'm gonna call this one uh, let's call it my button label and it's gonna be of type string just gonna use the order complete there and save it like that now what we need to do is go back up to our button here and we actually need to bind to this variable that we've just created so I'm going to use the binding syntax which is the curly braces and in there I'm going to put my variable name which is my button label and I'll just save that I'll just switch over to design view to show that and so you can see over here you know we now have this my button label and when we go back to the simple application we've saved the component file what we can do is if we go over to source and I can actually go in here and I can now set this property just like I would anything else the X and Y location and all the default properties that we inherit with components so if I just hit space and I start typing my for my button label you can see that flex knows what the properties of the component are and offers this as an option so I just press return and I'm going to now put in a string of uh, let's call this button one and now I'm going to go down to the second instance do the same thing again, hit space, start typing my button it comes up in the syntax, just press return and I'm going to give this a string of button 2 I'm just going to save that if I go back to design view and now I'm going to actually debug this application in the browser because these are set in when the application runs so we actually need to run the application now to see these these live the live data going through to these components so I'll just hit run there for debug and then there you go you can see we have the label of button 1 and the label of button 2 and that's that's the, you know the, basically the simple way to go about adding properties to your component and sending some data in next time around we'll add something a little more complex we'll start to deal with these text fields and these combo boxes